Hello everyone. If you want to add feedbacks into your application, which is very important part of your application, then you can head on to wiredash.io. Here you will see that the documentation is very easy. If you go in the documentation or if you just want to start get started, you can do it. The steps are very easy. Plus you have a console here where you will see all the feedbacks that are being given to your application. The console is very nice. I will show you in uh, coming minutes. Then there is a screenshot support where you can actually take apps a screenshot and then send it with the feedback that you are giving. Now, if we come down, we can see that it is free for developers. Like if you are not a prof prof profit booking organization, you can uh, sign up for free as I have done it. And uh, for startups, it is 49 pounds and for enterprise, it is 129 pounds per month. So it is pretty good deal because the features that it is providing, it, it is very soothing for us. So we will go to console and get started with this. You can sign up with Google as I will do now in front of you. So you can sign up. Yes. Now you can create a new project, which I would say demo show app then create project it will take very less time great so this is the console that i was talking about you can create as many projects as you want then you have feedbacks you have configurations you have integration and you have members in configuration you will find secret key here and project id here so both these things you will take and copy it copy them one by one now let's head on to our Flutter project, how we can use this in Flutter project. So first and foremost, there is a plugin that is being designed for this, which is wire dash. Okay. The version is 0 .0 0.0.1. .0 it is fairly new plugin and it can do wonders for your application. So let us run Flutter pub get once it is run. We will see how we can use it. Now I am going to replace my all uh, these. So it is just a counter application with one additional thing, which is home page two. Here you will see that second screen is there. When I click on second screen, I will navigate to the second screen. I have added this because I want to show you certain aspects of this uh, plugin. That's why. Okay. So we will go to uh, main dot dot now and we will wrap material app with wire dash. Okay. It needs navigator key. Sorry. It needs navigator key. So you will define a navigator key here. With navigator state. Okay, and you will provide navigator key at this place as well as in your material app as navigator key and not key. Okay, so don't uh, do this mistake. So two places you have added navigator key. Wire dash also requires two more things, which is product project ID and secret. So I have already copied them in my constants file. Okay, these two strings I have added and I can directly uh, take the secret key from there. Once I have done this, I'm good to go, but I will have to invoke the feedback dialogue. Okay, so on the click of this plus icon, I will add the calling of that wire dash dialogue, which is which will come from the bottom sheet. So we'll go here in the increment counter and after set state you can write wire dash dot off context dot show and this is only thing that you have to do i have restarted the application and we will see that when we report a bug this time we will do it on this screen itself okay so we will go to take a screenshot we'll select red and probably we can uh, draw something like this and then save a screenshot we will say why this button okay 
and this is the save you can again send the feedback without email id i will show you when you can and how you can configure it at one place so close the dialog thank you uh, thank you so much for helping us building a better app so that's what it is recorded now if you go to feedback and try to refresh it yes we see one uh, feedback from our user which says this is the screenshot and he is saying why this button so everything it takes it takes device id user id which is which we have not um, feeded already app version and email platform also it gives so for android it will give uh, android for ios it gives android ios you can also close feedback if you have fixed this fixed this this issue and close the feedback it will be closed now i will show you how you can change the theme that is being given here as well as how you can specify the email and ids and where you can do that so remember we used uh, we called a show method before that you can or you can configure uh, some settings uh, anywhere in the application so set options you can set app version which is 1.1 suppose okay and then uh, you have user id which can be one or something anything one two three four five and email once you have set this it is actually uh, it will actually auto populate email box which is asked after the feedback message so it will be auto populated and you will need not to type it again so sometimes you don't want your user to be uh, adding email id every time because you you have already captured his email id somewhere in the application before while signing up so you will not want that and that's where you can add options okay we will see that once i run it run the application again but uh, okay let's see that first i am hot restarting the application and plus icon i will request for a feature or you can say i will just uh, skip it I will cancel it. I will send applause. I am just wanting to thank you for the application that you have created, and I will I will say awesome. Save, and then the email ID that I gave is already there. If I send the feedback, feedback will be sent automatically, and I can close this dialog or I can just uh, drag it down. It will be all done. And if we refresh the page again, this time it will not be a bug. It will be a praise. Okay. So you, you can see praise is there, which says awesome. And this time screenshot is not there. Of course, we have not taken a screenshot and it didn't allow us to take. Email ID is there, app version is there and user ID is there, everything. So this is great feature. Uh, integrations will come in future. Members, you can add many members to it. Uh, they will also come in future. Uh, surely because the library is so awesome that I can believe so many things will come. Maybe in future, uh, the it. It will not come from bottom it can come from top which can be configured by the app talking about configurations do you want report a bug text to be always there we can actually change this text but where we will do so here comes translations translation extends wire dash translation data okay now if you go to wire wire dash translation data these are the strings that are used in the application if you want to change report a bug so you will search for that and you will copy this and paste it here now this translation also works for other languages you can create multiple translations right now i will say report uh, a bug that's it uh, or we will just rename it with bug reporting okay that's it and now if i uh, yes now we have created a translation class so we need to specify translation in wire dash where i can just initialize this and use it now if i hot restart hot reload the application i can see the text is changed now this gives a this gives us the feature that we can change the text all together in the application right uh, of course there are limited number of text so we can change only that we cannot add anything right now um, but we can change the text and we can also add translations means other languages as well talking about configuration again we have theme so you can create wire dash 
theme data which is actually pretty sweet because it has dark mode already enabled if you just re reload the application you can see it is darker right you can also by default it is light you have this version right then um, Oh, my keyboard again changed. That's why it was failing. Okay, so primary text color, primary color, it can be according to your app theme. So I will say, I want primary color as blue ascent. And this color, color got changed. Similarly, I will add secondary color, sorry, secondary color, which will be colors dot, you can say orange ascent, and your apps, feedback is also changed it is pretty handy you can change any color here then in the divider color yeah so divider color is uh, you can say if you go here no i don't want to take a screenshot i just want to see yes this is a divider color and this is also the color which will be applied so you can see colors dot um, you can say blue and these colors this color are blue now okay then you can also change uh, a touch I means i think i have given much of information you can now play with this colors dot you can say green it is changing primary background color probably it changes for something else let's see yes so this is the background color for which it will change bug reporting same so guys yes this is the end of the tutorial i hope uh, you definitely use this and real thanks for frederick who has developed this and come out with come up with an common solution for all the feedbacks i really appreciate that so guys if you like this video please hit the like button if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe it for awesome content that will be coming in future videos and yes i'm signing off from here and thank you mm -hmm.